Competitions are won and lost at starts and turns. I recently heard this at a parent meeting for my daughter's competitive swim club, and it struck me that it is about how we start and it is about how we respond to the turns. Welcome to the Invited Back podcast. I'm Sabbath Kapahu. So excited to be here back for year three of Invited Back. It has been a while since I have been in this space with you all. If you would have told me when I first started Invited Back, back in August of 2021, that this is where I would be today, I would have told you there's no way. I've had an opportunity to see incredible dreams come to reality because people got intentional about the things that mattered most, whether that's been in their small business, whether that's been in their brand identity, whether that's been expanding their nonprofit reach. And it's been a joy and an honor to journey with these people. Um, I've also been committed full-time to the work of wild leaders and um, a lot of my time in year two of my Invited Back business Um, really has been dedicated to the work that Wild Leaders does. There will be a a link to that in the show notes, so you can check that out there. But what I'm really excited to share about today is a reminder about the power of reimagining, reinventing, and reinviting others into our journey into the passionate purpose that fills your soul with joy and a little bit of fear because there's nothing wrong with stepping ahead even in the midst of that fear, which is courage. And um, and the, the courage that it takes to be invited back. Some of you might know that I recently lost my brother uh, April 1st. I got the news and life since then has been an invitation back into a world I never thought that I would step foot back into mentally, emotionally, physically even. Um, And it has been a gift. It has been a heartbreaking and groundbreaking season for myself, for my family, and um, And I believe for the Invited Back community as we continue to walk out this journey together. So today I'm going to commit to you that year three of Invited Back is about the journey. I just read this um, from Rick Kobayashi, who we have some mutual acquaintances, but I saw a post today from him on LinkedIn and it said this, a life well lived isn't all of a sudden. The slope usually goes unnoticed. Then one day, you find yourself at the summit of something that started long ago. Looking out, not out of breath, but full of wonder. Maybe it's not about the mountain. Maybe it's the courage to climb. And I believe that's what this year is about. That courage to climb. That not all of the sudden, but that slow, steady, one foot in front of the other being invited back to reimagine, reinvent, and reinvite others along to the call that you have on your life. So in the last four months, it has been a wild ride. Um, I got to go with the wild team to Florida, uh, did a leadership conference there with uh, CEOs. And then I traveled with my mom to Washington and Nevada as we remembered my brother, celebrated his life, met some people that I had never met before that were such a a special part of his journey. And I got to meet my niece for the first time, who is now forever a huge place in my life and in my heart. And then we came home and then we continued this journey of being invited back into this world. Fast forward to June, uh, celebrated my birthday and excited about things that I've committed to daily this year and what it's going to look like at the end of the 365 days of my 38th year of life, what that's going to look like because I started and committed to some things very intentionally that I will do daily until then. So I'm excited about that. And then in July, 
I returned back to Palau, which if you don't know, is the island where my dad and my brother were born. And uh, my dad grew up there and was raised there, lived there uh, until my mom sailed there 40 years ago. So we, as a family, again, invited back into this, this interesting space of healing and hope and seeds planted that are now growing into relationships. Some of those seeds planted 40 years ago when my mom first arrived on the sailboat in Palau, um, now uh, returning back and seeing those relationships continue to be cultivated. It was an incredible opportunity to be received into family. And we laid my brother to rest um, there in the land and in the sea. And it was just the beginning of what I believe is going to be a flourishing family relationship for generations to come. It's been a heartbreaking and groundbreaking few months. And uh, like I said, I'm committed to taking us on this journey of being invited back for year three of my business. So I'll be doing a podcast uh, once a month at least for year three and excited to journey with you. I'll kind of recap what's happened in the month and just talk about what I'm looking forward to. What I'm especially looking forward to coming up in September is Women's Assembly. I'll be back for year two, speaking of being invited back to a powerhouse of women who are committed to leading in business and in life, to owning it all, because we know how much there is to carry. But what does it mean when we take ownership? Does it mean we do it all? Owning it all doesn't mean doing it all, but we take responsibility for all the things that we've been given to Stuart and work together because we are not meant to journey alone on stewarding it well. Because the people that love us and need us the most deserve us at our best. And I'll talk more about where that phrase comes from as we continue on with uh, my journey in first in nutrition as well. So it is going to be an incredible year three of Invited Back Together. So looking forward to Women's Assembly in September. If there is a way that I can encourage you, serve you, move you ahead in that dream that you have or in this leadership space or capacity that you find yourself in, please reach out. i um, excited about the tools that I am trained in to help with that process and also be an encouragement to you along the way. So find me at Invited Back or at Sabbath Kapahu, wherever you spend time on socials. Really excited to dive in to reimagining the possibilities. What would it look like if you gave yourself permission to reimagine, to reinvent and then be reinvited into the journey and allow people to see this new thing that again, didn't happen all of a sudden that maybe has gone unnoticed, but one day you find yourself at the summit. Not that we are at the top, but we're on this journey together. Can't wait to journey with you in this next year. Aloha.